Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here, and today I'm bringing you my Mains first impression review. So, Mains was a ship that I was quite interested in when it was announced. So, it is a hipper hull combined with 150 millimeter guns. So, it's kind of like what well, it exactly is a heavy cruiser mixed with a light cruiser, but I guess. Technically, it is a light cruiser because of the guns, although it does have the hull of a heavy cruiser. It is the, the hipper, so that's uh, yeah, going to be fun. But I think I will be okay in it because the ship right here, Prince Oregon, which again is the same hull. Um, when I got the Prince Oregon in a bundle, I played her quite a bit. She was one of the first cruisers I actually touched. And I did actually do okay in her, and I liked her quite a bit, and I still do like her today. She's not perfect, and I've played a lot better cruisers since then, but this is a ship that got me into cruisers. Now, the mains is um, a hipper, or a prince again with smaller guns, so this might be okay for me. Uh, but anyway, uh, as with most first impressions videos, I do not go out of my way to read any information about the ship because I want to give you guys my genuine first impressions of the ship. However, I have just overheard and read some stuff in the Discord, uh, the Discord server, that this is pretty much like a, like a German Cleveland, but with torpedoes. <laughs> and she is German, so she has to get that German HE um, pen, so... Her guns can pin 38 millimeters of armor without IFHE, so you have no need to even get IFHE, and you have 8% chance of starting a fire with a 6 second reload time with 12 guns. That's pretty good. And she has a range of 17.5 kilometers base, which is also pretty good for a tier 8 premium. Now, um, mains is one of the ships I was waiting for, for them to release, and along with the other slew of high tier premiums and just premiums in general that we've been waiting for them to release that's kind of been stuck in development hell. But anyway, let's go ahead and get looking at the mains after I just, just did show you, show you a little bit. So there is her armor, her citadel is doopy doopy doopy. There it is. It's of course the same citadel. It has the hipper and the Prince Oigan. Let's see, she has Prince Oigan has 20 millimeters of armor there. Did that color change? Oh no, it's 20 millimeters, mil, mil, uh, millimeters too. I thought that was orange oh, and, uh, on the mains, but no, it is green. Alright. So I just went over her guns. So she has 42,500 hit points. 22% torpedo damage reduction. Uh, as I just said, she has 150 millimeter guns that reload in 6 seconds base. They can pin 38 millimeters of armor with HE. 8% chance of starting a fire. A maximum HE shell damage of 1700. Uh, her AP shells has a maximum damage of 30, uh, 3,900 with an AP shell velocity of 960 meters a second and an HE shell velocity of 960 m meters a second. That is like Soviet territory there. That is quite quick. Is that quicker than small looks? Uh, yeah, it actually is. It's 10 meters a second faster than small looks. That is freaking hilarious. Alright, uh, and uh, she does have, of course, German secondaries. And torpedoes, she does have 4x4 four four torpedoes. They have a range of 6 kilometers, top speed of uh, to speed of 64 knots, and cause 13,700 maximum damage and with a detection range of 1.3 kilometers. I believe that is pretty much this, yeah. Uh, 1.3 kilometers, 6 kilometer range. 864 knot top speed. Yeah, pretty much the same as the as the mains here. A defense uh, 74 doesn't mean anything really. <laughs> Max speed 32 knots. Turning circle radius of 720 meters. Rush of time of 10.5 seconds. And concealment detectability range by sea is 14.8 kilometers base. Okay, um, let's see what she gets as far as consumable. So she does not get a hill. Uh, that is interesting because the Prince Oregon gets a hill. The mains does not. Interesting, interesting. So we are going to go ahead and slap premium consumables on here. Hydra, I'm going to go with Hydro. And 
and of course premium damage con. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and un uh, uh, all those stats read without any captain skills being applied. So let's go ahead and build her out. We're gonna go with main armament mod one and with engine room protection and aiming systems mod one that's my go-to cruiser module um hmm do we want to dance or do we want to throttle juke I think we'll take this for now and change it as need be and we'll go with concealment all right, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to throw my Hindenburg captain on here because I think this is a ship that he'll do well on. I'm going to flag her out, and I'll show you what I have set up after that. All right, so now we got my Hindenburg captain on here. This is what I have on him, uh, Brevin Magnets, MLG turrets, uh, BFT, Adrenaline Rush, and uh, Consumer Expert. I know this isn't ideally ideal, but uh, this is my Hindenburg captain, and we'll see how this works, and I will switch it up as we go along so now her concealment range is now down to 12 kilometers and what else was I going to check I forgot <laughs> I forgot what else I was going to check um, but anyway we should be I'm mean, six seconds I could have gotten that down a little bit more but I think that's pretty good for now so we're gonna go ahead and roll with this and see uh, and see how she is Good God, that Gnevni just got absolutely dunked on. When Colorado just comes a little bit closer, that, that, that'd be great. There we go. Oh, wow, the alt, the alt, wow, okay, that's, uh, that's impressive. Nope, they didn't mean to do that. That fire's gonna stick because he uh he damage conned. Carolina's just coming on in. So is that Fuso. Is that a whole Fuso? I think it is. He looks a little naked. It's one of the real secrets to cruisers. It's just, you just go in reverse. That is from the words of a Unicom player himself. Because no one expects it. There is a fire on a foot. Can I get shoot over this island? No, nope, I'm not. I may be almost like a Cleveland, but I am in fact not a Cleveland. It's another fire on the North Carolina. Mm. Again, same more thing fires in this thing than I have in my small ant. Than I usually do in my small ants. Go. What's up with that? <laughs> the thing is, battleship players they will normally let one fire burn. One to two fires they will let burn. Normally, if they're above half health. And that, that's just a strategy of, you know, conserving your damage con for when you really need it. Um, so if you only set one fire on a battleship, um, they legit may just let it burn, so... I mean, I'm not saying don't stop shooting, I'm just saying don't be upset if you only get one fire. Because they will let that sucker burn. Another fire, wow. Okay, this is a... Wow. Oh, I got him. I set another fire and I sunk him. Good god. Uh, what is this ship? I mean, this match is also fairly waffle stop. We haven't even taken a point of damage yet. And uh, yeah, eighty-eight thousand damage in eight minutes. It's ten thousand damage a minute. Pretty good. All right, here's where the fun begins. Just tapped him right away. And fire. Ed, the, 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 the threshold is going to ram th this Bayern. 
My damage! <laughs> oh, looks like the Enterprise has chosen me. It makes sense I'm all up on my lonesome. Fighter airborne. He completely nuked my torp tubes. Uh, to Peter Tube number two. Wow. That's very rude. Hi, Enterprise. Oh, I set a two second fire on Enterprise. Great. This is, uh, tight. And we won. There we go. That was a, that was a very good game. <laughs> 115,000 damage, number one in the team. That was pretty good. Let's keep going. See, when I don't mess up, I do good. The fire rate is it's great. Six seconds on twelve guns, it's wow. I promise you that that, that Yami hates me right now. I haven't paid attention to me, what the heck? I guess I haven't set a fire on him yet. He's not mad. Games like yeah, getting a little bit of lag now. CMB is practicing the art of reversing. We have finally a fire. Jeez, another one. Oh, that was in range. I think I'm going to stop shooting now. I realize I'm kind of by myself. Yep, going to go dark. Why concealment is a good thing to build into. I'm detected. Protect me, Vlad. Oh, shooting at Vlad, not me. Okay. Suspiciously good dispersion from Massachusetts. I'm saying that Vlad, not me. Wow, okay. I need to get into some more open water. Do not need to get stuck right now. I am putting priority target on this thing uh, for the second impressions video. 
Just holy crap. I, oh, there goes my uh, my tank. Right, both teams have only sunk like two ships each, so yeah. Uh, I'm just backing up out out of out of sea. I, I want the damage, but I also want to not die. When they take that Jambard out, I am going to be everyone's favorite target because I'm going to be the only target. Oh, okay. That's the part where we go dark. The ship is on fire. All right, they they've uh, broken through. See, I'm gonna get behind this island. See if I can do some more. But if I shoot right now, I'm just going to get wrecked. Fire in Cleveland, lol. I goofed, I goofed, I goofed, I goofed, I goofed, I goofed, I goofed. I got a kill out of the goof, but I still goofed. They have with me a thunderer. Okay, they may hate him more. Nope, they hate me more. Oh, <laughs> that hurt. Lag, not now. Shoot my gun. Oh, shoot. All right. Burn everything. Shoot! Jeez, the lag. It's... Ah. Uh, did they have any fires going? No. 120,000 damage done. I think we may win. And I was fighting lag too. Like, oh my god, my, my guns wouldn't fire. Ah, uh, jeez, that was so stupid. That was a victory. Let's see how well I did. And this is in a tier 10 game too. Um... 120,000 damage, 1 kill, 8 fires, 3 defended ribbons, 239 shell hits. Number 2 on the team. Wow. All right then. Okay, so the mains so far feels really good. Um, it's, you know, it is an HE spammy cruiser. Can't lie about that. So if you don't like that type of play style, which 
I'm not a fan of that play style, but I mean, I don't know, something about the ship, it, it just feels really, really, really good. I think it's the velocity with the fire chance. I mean, you guys saw that second, how many fires I set. That That's more fires than I've ever set in small links. I don't know, RNG just hates me in small links for some reason. But in this ship, it worked out pretty dang good. Um, the torpedoes never really got to use them. And thinking about ships, ships with torpedoes, besides like torpedo boats, you shouldn't be trying to use your torpedoes. So that that will get you killed. Like if you get in a turpit and you try to use your torpedoes, that will get you killed. I treat them more as a oh crap moment, and then that's how I'm kind of doing the same thing with mains. Um, but feels really good. I know my captain build isn't exactly optimal, but I did a couple of uh, over 100,000 damage games. Um, I'm not sure if I'm really going to show you the first get match. If I did not show you the first match, I, I messed up and I, I turned into a couple of torpedoes and I had a very short match and the team wasn't that fantastic either, so I, I don't think I'll show you that one. I think I'll just show you the um, couple that highlight the the um, characteristics and uh, of the ship. But anyway, ye so far first impressions, pretty good. Um, is it worth $45? Maybe. It's a pretty good damage farmer. I mean, you guys saw with the fire flags and just no IFHE and not even demolition expert setting fires right, left, and center. I could easily see the ship breaking 200,000 damage quite easy. Um, it is on a hippo, hipper hull, so that does kind of balance out, you know, the rant, the very fast HE spammy guns is that it is on a hipper hull and it's definitely not the hardest thing to, to do damage to. Um, and you don't get a heal with it, so kind of balanced out there. Um, but it, it is really strong. Uh, they shouldn't nerf it because it's a premium, but who knows nowadays. But yeah, so first impressions, it seems like a good buy if you like the if you like light cruises. I'm sure you've probably already got this one, and it is a pretty interesting ship. And yeah, pretty good first impression so far. Our second impressions video should be out within a week or so. Uh, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. We are on our way to 10,000 subscribers. Just past 9,000. I cannot thank you guys enough for that. I believe we've also passed 9,100. Again, you guys are being awesome with all the new subscriptions recently. Hope you guys are enjoying your Thursday. Hope you're staying healthy, staying safe, and staying away from people. <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, do hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.